Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to check this Smart Finder from GoodGo. Basically this device allows you to track down lost items and also track your phone using this device. Inside the box we're getting a keychain holder, the tracker device and this instrument that allows you to open the tracker by just inserting it over here and then you can just replace the battery. In addition we're getting an extra battery and the instructions manual. The weight of the tracker is 8.62 grams, so it's a little bit lighter than a traditional GPS tracking device which weighs typically around 20 grams. This one in particular weighs 17.19 grams. The dimensions of the tracker are 36.8 by 36.8 by 6 millimeters. In order to use the tracker, you first you need to install the GoFinder app. It's available both on Google Play and Apple's App Store. After you open it, you will need to allow the GoFinder to access your location if you want to keep track of the location of the tracker. So I'm going to allow it. Then it will ask you to allow to send notifications because you can also track your phone by just pressing this button over here, which I'm going to show you in a minute. In addition, you need to enable Bluetooth because the communication with this device is done via Bluetooth protocol. So now it's enabled. Then long press this button over here until you hear this double beeping sound, hit the plus, and now it's been discovered, hit the HBO3. You can name this tracker because you can also use multiple trackers with one phone, confirm, and now the tracker is connected to the phone. So if I want to play a sound on the tracker device, just hit this bell icon. And you can see that it's playing. And if you want to stop the sound, you can either press this button or you can also press this button over here. On the top, we have the signal strength indicator. So if the device is getting away, you're going to see that the signal bars will drop. Over here, we can see the last lost location. So if it's going to be disconnected, it's going to save the last location where it got disconnected at. And on the top, we have this camera icon. You can also use it for selfies. Once I press this button, it will take a selfie picture, so you can just put it on a tripod and just press this button whenever you want to take a picture. Hitting the cogwheel will lead you to the settings section. You can choose whether to play a sound if the tracker is going to be disconnected from your phone. Let's say this tracker is in your bag and it just got disconnected because somebody took it. It will set an alarm on your phone. So if you want to enable this option, press this disconnection notification and you have this option to enable Wi-Fi safe zone which means if the phone is going to be connected to a certain Wi-Fi network let's say your home it's not going to play a sound so you have to press ok and then choose the Wi-Fi network the phone is going to be connected to in order to override the disconnecting notification you can choose the ringtone that will be played when the device will be disconnected you have three options this one this one or this one. It's also the same ringtone that will be played if you're going to press this button twice. You can see now we got the notification. So let's say you just misplaced your phone. You can just go around the house, click this button twice, and then the alarm will be played on your phone. If you want to stop the alarm, just double press this button again and the alarm will be stopped. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go outdoors and check its range because it's really interesting for me to find out if it's a good tracker device to put on my quadcopters because sometimes the battery is just being disconnected from the quadcopter and then of course the buzzer is not working. So I'm thinking whether it's a good option to mount one of the de these devices on my quadcopters. It doesn't add a lot of weight and if the range is good, it might be a very interesting option to use. So let's go outdoors and check it out. Now I'm going to leave my phone over here and then walk with my device and when the phone is going to be disconnected for, from the tracker it's going to start playing sound, so let's see. Now it started at about 70, 60, 70 meters or so and now the signal was lost. Now I came a little bit closer and now the alarm stopped because it was reconnected to my phone. 
So on my test range, the maximum range that I've got was about 100 meters and sometimes the alarm was set even at 50 or 60 meters. So if you just lost your quadcopter in high grass or something and you don't know the exact location, this device might save your quadcopter. On the other hand, if you don't have any idea with where you crashed your quadcopter, a GPS enabled tracker is a much better option but it adds more weight and it's a little bit more complicated to use. You will need also to use a SIM card with this device. So I would probably use this one on a long range quadcopter or an FPV wing. And I might use this option on smaller quadcopters, especially when flying around high grass. As always, I thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. If you have any questions about this tracking device, feel free to ask it in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you on my next videos. Goodbye.